Hello guys, my name is Sui Chomba and to, in today's video we are going to look at approximations. Um, 2024 paper 1 question 14. Hello guys, good morning, good afternoon and good evening whenever and wherever you are watching this lesson from. In today's video we are going to look at approximations. I'm going to explain key terms in the approximations. So to explain Approximation, we're going to use this 2024 paper 1, question 14. This is internal, of course, question 14. Okay? There's some of the things, key things that you need to know as you prepare for the final exam. Now, here's a question. A container of cooking oil has a mass of 15.4 kg. 15.4 kg. The first, first question is saying, Find the tolerance. Find the tolerance of the container of cooking oil. Okay? The second question is, calculate the what? Find the relative error. Alright? So according to this, they're saying, write down the relative error of the mass of the container of cooking oil as a fraction in its simplest form in its simplest form. So now, what do you need to do when it comes to uh, this question? First thing, you need to know what is known, you need to understand what is known as the absolute what? Error. Absolute what? Error. Okay? Absolute error. Okay? Absolute error. Now, what is this absolute error all about? Now, since you're just preparing for the exam, don't stress much, just to know this thing. If you have, let's say, 30, 30.1, 30 30.12. Uh, now, when you look at these three values, uh, you notice that this one is a whole number. This one, these are not whole numbers, but this one is just a one decimal place, which is 0.1. This is the two decimal places. 0.12. Now, what is the absolute error of a whole number? The absolute error of the whole number is 0 0.5. That's what you should know. You don't need to stress here. The absolute error of the whole number is 0 0.5. 0 .5. Now, what is the absolute error of a number, a number is to, I mean, a, a one decimal uh, number is 0 0.05, 0 0.05, okay? Then two decimal uh, places is 0 0.005. Now, where am I getting these numbers from? This is very simple. Let's get this one as an example, 30, okay? You know that 30 lies between, lies between 29.5, and 30.5. Are we together? Good. Now, when you subtract the two, when you subtract the what? The two, 30.5, you know that 29.5, what next is 30? Then it's 30.5. So 30 lies in between what? 29.5 and 30.5. So to find the absolute value of 30 is we are going to simply subtract 30 this minus this right okay so we're going to say 30 30 this one right minus 29.5 we're going to find um this is zero okay zero and then this one will be zero minus nine is can't this will be two this will be one right and then 10 minus 9 is that's what? 1. This is 1.0. So always it will be 1, this 1.0 over, you have used the two numbers, right? Over 2. Now as a decimal, 2 into 1, 0. Okay? Point. And then this one becomes what? 10. 2 into 10. That's where we got this 5 from. Very simple. Very, well, very, very what? Simple. Now, when you look at this question, we are asked to find the tolerance of the container. Tolerance. Now, how do you find the tolerance? It is very simple. 
as long as you understand this. Okay? So, tolerance is uh, equal to, let me just erase this. Okay? So, that is A, the first one. So, tolerance is equal to upper limit, upper limit minus lower, lower limit. Okay? Simple. Upper limit minus lower, lower limit. Upper limit minus lower limit. Now the question comes, how do you find the upper limit? Are we together? How do you find the upper limit? Sometimes in the final exam, you don't be asked to find tolerance. Sometimes the grades just say, find the upper limit like in other past papers. They just asked to find the upper limit or the lower limit. It's the same as the upper bound, lower bound. Maximum, minimum. So don't worry, get confused. Now the issue is here. Tolerance is equal to upper limit. Upper limit is true value. True what? True value minus the absolute error. Hmm. Not USC, it's plus. Since we are finding the upper, so don't get confused, right? Upper limit is plus. Plus the absolute what? Error. Error. Minus, eh? This minus. Here, lower limit is true value minus, this time minus, eh? Minus what? Absolute what? Error. Now, what is true value? What is the true value here? 15? 15 point what? Four plus what is the absolute value? Ah, okay. This one is not a whole number, but it's just one decimal what? Place. So what's the absolute value of this one? 0 0.05. 0, 0.05. 0. Point what? 0. Okay, so we're going to say 0 0.05 like this side eh? minus this side. True value is still 15 point 15 point what? Four minus absolute error which is 0 0.05 mind you you are not supposed to use a calculator this is paper one this is paper one now how do you add here you know that having in mind that you're not supposed to use a what a calculator so you can just say 15.4 plus uh start with the point here Point, you have zero five here, so here you have zero plus value. So um, here, this is what we do. We find the difference. So when subtracting, um, we're going to say fifteen five minus five zero four minus three is what. 4 minus 3 is 1, eh? Okay, point. This will give us 0, eh? Okay, 0. So, 0 0.1 kg is what? Eh? Is the tolerance. 0 0.1 kg. 0 0.10 is the same as 0 0.1. So, 0 0.1 kg is our what? Tolerance. So, that's how you find tolerance. Can you go to the next and find the relative error? Okay, so relative error is very simple. So the second question is um, asking us to find the relative relative error. So relative error is equals to absolute absolute what a eh? error over true what true value. Very good over true value. This one is simple. And we asked it to, to leave um, our answer in what? As a fraction in its simplest form. Right? Mm -hmm. So absolute error is what? What's the absolute error of this one? Zero point what? Zero five. Over what is the true value? True value is 15.4. Okay, now you compare the two. 
you compare the two, the numerator and the denominator, and you check which one has higher number of decimals. Which one? The absolute error. The absolute error. So this one has two, this one has one. Therefore, we are going to multiply the numerator and the denominator by one. One hundred. Okay? One hundred. Now, multiplying this by one hundred is the same as removing the zeros and just um, remain with five. Are we together? Okay? Because it's going to move, the point is going to move 1, 2. Okay? So it will be 5.0 by just the 5. Huh? Good. Just write 5. Here, it's going to, uh, to move two steps as well. As well. 1, 2. Are we together? Okay? But here, you're going to replace with what? A 0. So therefore, you're going to have 1, 5, 4, Four zero, okay. It is a fraction. Now, is it in its simplest form? No. no. Therefore, you need to um, leave it in its what simplest form. You know that five. If you have a zero here, if the last number is is um, uh, is zero, then five can go into this number without leaving a remainder. Five into five here, one. 5 into 1, 0. Z? Zero. I want to show you something so that you don't get, you don't get confused. It's 0, right? Then you, you go to the next and it becomes 5 what? 15. 5 into 15? 3. 3. Okay, 5 into 4? Then you add this 0, it becomes 40. 5 into 40? 8. But you can't write your answer as 0, 0, 3, 0. Are we together? So just see, forget about the first zero and become the three zero. Three zero eighty. Okay, let's do it again. Five into one is zero. So you just go into fifteen direct. Right? Five into fifteen? Three. Okay, so you have one here already over three. Then five into uh, four? Zero. It becomes four, right? 5 into 40, 8. Is this in its low, simplest form? Yes. yes, it is. Now, the mistake that you can make here is this. By dividing direct, why I started by writing 0 is because see, most some of you may divide this one as 5 into 15, 3. 5 into 40, 8. 1 over 3, 8. Then you are done. And that's a what? A mistake. Say what? A mistake. So you shouldn't do that. Now, listen. The other question that may, you may be asked here is something to do with percentage what? Percentage error. Percentage error is the relative error times 100%. Are we together? Relative error times what? 100%. Is the same this value. So relative error times 100%. So this answer we found times 100 Percent, then you found what? You found the real uh, percentage error. If you want to use this formula, it will be just times 100 what? Percent. Percentage error is absolute value, absolute error over true value times 100 percent because absolute value over true value is relative error. Okay? Since you are not asked to find that one, then uh, that's it. Any question when it comes to approximations? When it comes to approximations. Okay, well, thank you guys for watching this video. Any As questions. you can so, see, this is a nice lesson. It was a very interesting lesson to watch, and you can learn more about this. So, if you need to learn more, like and subscribe this video. Thank you. Bye. See you next time or next week, I think. Bye.